Hello, viewers, wherever you're watching me across the whole world, whichever continent that you're in, whichever country that you're in, whichever city, whichever district, uh, wherever that you are watching me from and wherever my voice is reaching you. My name is Prophet Justice Hara. It's wonderful to have you again, and God bless you for joining me right now on a very crucial uh, time that I have with you. I would like to appreciate God that you have come across me right now, and please, if next someone is next to you, extend that word to say, Prophet Justice Hara is actually right, right now, and he wants to talk to you, and he wants to talk to someone else. And I'm coming live, and I'm coming public to you, because I found so fit that I should have a word to each one of you listen to the sound of my voice. Thank you so very much. You see, um, my coming to you today comes on a, on, on a platform of my appointment that I have been appointed as an associate to Major One. And that's the reason why I'm coming to you right now. You see, I believe that in life, in life, Purpose. We all have a purpose in life. And we all have reasons why we live in life. But comes the times, time comes in life, where one's purpose has to be redefined. Time comes in life where one's purpose of life has to be redefined. And I believe that times of the earth have caught up with me, where my purpose of life has to be redefined. My purpose of my existence has to be redefined. The redefinition of the purpose of life would affect either positive or negative. It comes to move us from a comfort zone to places where I would never even believe to be. But let me believe that this will be all for our own good to the glory of the Lord. In this life, we are said to come across several levers which we must cross. Before Jesus could start his own effective ministry on the planet of the earth, Jesus had even to go to the liver, liver Jordan, before the children of Israel crossed to the other side, they also had to go to the liver. Before Elisha, attain the greatest calling of the earth, on the earth. He had to go and cross the river Jordan. It tells me to say, in life, we come across different levers which we are supposed to cross to go to the other side. And um, it was on the river Jordan where we hear that God himself expressed his intentions on his own son, Jesus Christ. We hear that God said, this is my beloved son, in whom I'm well pleased. He never spoke that word anywhere else. He only spoke that word when Jesus came to the liver. All that I'm saying is, in life, it comes a time where we need to cross levers of life, levers of decisions making, to experience the other side of life. Now listen to me. There is no greater anointing than when a father speaks over a life of a son. And I believe it was that very decree that God spoke over the life of Jesus Christ as his son, that this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. That decree, I believe, is that which enabled Jesus to carry on the challenge all the way to the Calvary. If it was not for God to speak a decree as a father into the life of Jesus, that this is my beloved son, I don't think Jesus Christ would have made it by himself to carry on the challenge all the way to Calvary. I therefore have decided and to, uh, I've also understood in life that the word of a father to a son, it is power, it is ability, it is wisdom, it is a force that propels you to attain greatness on the earth. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the blessing of the Father also eases every cross and every burden one in life can carry. Through Prophet Shepherd Bushiri, the Lord himself has enlarged my territory. I, Prophet Justice Han. As the game changer, me, Prophet Justice Han, as the game changer, I note that the one who owns the game has changed my game and has changed my story. I believe that God anointed me as a game changer. But I've also noticed that the one who owns, who owns the game has changed my game and has changed my story. Ladies and gentlemen, it has pleased my father in the Lord, Prophet Shepherd Bushiri, to appoint me as his associate. I stand today to acknowledge and accept that I, Prophet Justice Hara, I am ready and I'm greatly humbled to be chosen by God to walk with the most prolific prophet well known to me. It mentioned none other than Prophet Shepard Pushiri. How great is that hour when your spiritual father pronounces you worthy, worthy of association? It's very amazing. I want to thank the president, the president of the Enlightened Christian Gathering Church International, ECG, Dr. Shepard Bushiri, for the privilege he has granted me to serve in his ranks and to be a part of the move of God in this stretch of the prophetic movement. I want to pledge my unfailing support to the prophet and to the prophetess, my spiritual parents. I publicly pronounce today my relentless support to the ECG family for the days that God will afford me in his service on the earth. I declare the blessing of the Lord over all the sons and daughters who have followed my ministry the brethren that have embraced me at ECG Church, worldwide that is, and the entire church leadership, directorates or directorates, and the staff members, sons and daughters worldwide. I look forward to a fruitful and productive season as we further the Lord's mission for the prophet of our generation, Prophet Shepard Bushiri. And lastly, or last but not least, my heartfelt thanksgiving goes to Prophet Shepard Bushiri and my dear mom, Prophetess Mary Bushiri, for listening to God and accepting the challenge and the risk, I call it the risk, of appointing me to be an associate in the highest office that I never expected. God bless ECG Church worldwide and God bless Prophet Shepard Bushiri and God bless Mom Prophetess Shepard Bushiri. I Prophet Justice Ahara I've been taken by surprise. I'm still in shock with what God has done. It is not what I prayed for. It is not what was in my expectation. But God himself has picked me from my comfort zone and ushered me into the realms of ministry that I never was expecting. I come publicly to accept the challenge of service. My coming to ECG Church, I am not coming to preach. I am not coming to prophesy. I am not coming to lay hands on anyone. I am coming to save. 
If saving shall mean preaching, I will do. If saving shall mean prophesying, I will. If saving shall mean climbing in a tree, I will. If saving will mean arranging chairs, I will. To me, saving is a strong word that I want to do. I want to save. Apart from that, one may have a question to say, why has this happened like this, Prophet Hara? Listen to me. As I said in my introduction, ladies and gentlemen and viewers, wherever you're watching me from, the time comes in life where purpose has to be redefined. And time comes in life where we are supposed to cross different levers to attain the other side of destinies. I have lived on earth ever since I became born again and a preacher of the gospel. I have never come across a man of God accepting the calling and working with another man of God or serving under a certain man of God as a joint ally, as a joint ally to combat against evil. I've always experienced people rebelling, starting their own or not necessarily rebelling, but actually moving from one church to start another, in whichever way. I have not necessarily noticed an entity coming together with another entity to achieve one common goal. I want to achieve this in my life today. But even if I'm only remaining with seven days to live on earth, or I'm only remaining with one hour to live on the, on the surface of the earth. I want to achieve me surrendering myself and my calling and my entire church and ministry into someone's hands to lead me, to direct me with my entire church and vision to achieve one great common goal. If that has never ever happened on the surface of the earth, or you've never heard it from anywhere else, I would want to be the first to effect that in my generation. That shall mean I prophet Justice Hara in ECG as an associate to Major One. I am not there or here to champion my vision or to run my vision ACM, Ambassadors for Class Ministers Church. No. I am taking my vision in the hands of Major One. My vision is you, my followers. My vision is what I see ahead of me. All that in the hands of Prophet Shepard Bushiri. We cannot run two visions at the same time, two visions at the same time. One vision has to save another. My vision is to save the vision of Major One. Therefore, with no regrets, I, Prophet Justice, had a say that in all my serving, I will not save as ACM, Ambassadors for Christ Ministries, no. I will save as ECG, as an associate of Major One. This is to prove to the whole world that it is possible. I would also want all my followers and generation to understand that it is possible on F to work together. It is very possible for great men of God to come together and work together. It is very possible. Together we can make a very biggest difference. It is possible. It does exist. It does exist. It does exist. It exists and it will exist. It is possible for people, great men of God, to work together to achieve one common goal, which is nothing but so winning, so winning for God's glory, for God's glory. Paul and Barnabas worked together, worked together. And that's the reason why I, Prophet Justice Allah, comes in. Lastly, to all members of ECG Church worldwide, I would like to appreciate you for your love and your support that you already have shown me over the past years that I have been part and working so closely with the church and the vision of Major One. 
Your love, your support, your prayers, your best wishes have made me to be where I am today. To Ambassadors for Christ Ministers Church International, ACM, the church which I have been always on lead by God's grace, thank you very much for your love and your support, more especially your acceptance and your blessing that you have lended and given to me to save Major One's vision, together with you, to champion and to run the race together. I believe my sons and daughters of ACM, wherever you are, you and me together, can achieve greatness under one leadership, one vision, one strength, and one power of Prophet Shepherd Bushiri on this planet of the earth. To my wife, Hannah, congratulations. God bless you for achieving greatness to stand with me, your very own husband, Prophet Justice Hannah, in achieving this great call. To the entire general public, I would like to appreciate all of you for your love and your following and your, all your support. I, Prophet Justice Hala, stands here to assure you the best. And you can only believe and await for the best. To Prophet Shepherd Bushiri, Mom, Prophetess Mary Bushiri, my spiritual parents, thank you for investing in my life. And thank you for believing in me. And thank you for raising me from an echo to a voice. And thank you for giving me a platform where generations and nations of the earth can hear the wisdom and the greatness of the Lord in the land of the living. It takes humility. It takes someone who hears the voice of God to do exactly what Prophet Shepherd Vusiri has done. Dad and mom, you have not done a simple decision. What you've decided to do is such that it will go down to the history and the chronicles of life. It's a decision that it can only be a man that hears the voice of God, a voice of God, a man that is very close to the heart of God, who can do such a very great decision on the earth. Not everyone may know and understand me, but it takes the eyes of the Spirit to be able to understand and explain my destiny in such a way. I promise you, darling ma'am, and all the leaders of the church not to let you down by god's help and your prayers and your support i believe that i will make it and with you and with me will achieve greatness prophet justice hara is my name and god bless you and thank you for your time shalom